the mm. talent that you guys see right here, like getting all together, the replay features, like freaking Macharino, getting that down, all these like cool layouts and these like, you know, promotions mm. that we guys, we guys get to sell to you. That's all, you know, being put through the effort of Devin 3000. And speaking of Devin, we have them playing against Mario. Now, I definitely would love to see a lot more of just like out neutraling Mario because listen, your Squirtle, you know, let's talk about it because Mario can literally do nothing sometimes. Although you're just as small as Mario, you have three characters that can actually potentially, you know, stuff out whatever Mario has. And it's just like, you need to be playing, you need to be playing that neutral, you need to be getting all that advantage in. Yeah, th I think this is going to be a matchup that you're going to want to go almost all Squirtle. Squirtle in a way is just really similar to Mario, um, so yeah. With the added effect of them actually, you know, low pro profiling actually yeah. out of a lot of things, that's definitely not going to take their jump. Yeah, good job from Devin saving that jump. But F Smash, out I think a decently long mm -hmm. time, able to catch stuff like that. Ooh, almost bouncing back right away. Ooh, oh. oh. Um, anyways, very nice. Gonna get out of that situation right there. But you need to be careful where they land because oh, no, right now, no, no. getting a lot about it, a lot of Mario combos. We don't want none of these Mario combos because Mario combos be scary. They're very, very scary. Um, watching some top Mario's play, uh, mainly uh, K K Kurama, Kurama, and um, the very good Mario. Um, the Mario's combo potential is mm -hmm. extremely high. It is. I mean, Mario. That that looked like that was gonna. What? Oh, what? Uh, what? What? Hold on. Um. <laughs> so they turn around right after that. That's literally. I think so they crazy. turn around right. I like to think that um Devin three thousand brain is absolutely massive and he purposely looked the wrong direction. Period. And then got caped. Um. So that's what I'm going to say, because his brain must be massive the way he runs these you know streets. Period. We're getting to this. You know, two stock a piece. This is a little bit scary. This is kind of where we want to see, you know, the switch come out. And the thing about Pokemon Trainer is that, like, Pokemon Trainer is actually very, um, you know, similar in the sense of like how they actually, you know, play like Pyramitha. They both have, you know, moves that let them switch, and that's kind of one of the most important parts about learning how to actually play this character is knowing when to switch and when not to switch. Because if you switch at a wrong time. You know, people can really blow you up for that. And, like, look at what's going on right here. A switch that, you know, Steven actually waited for. You know, it's situations like that where it's just, like, you need to be very Ooh. careful about how you actually switch. But we don't need to be careful in this situation because right now, Devin is on their last stock, and so is Steven. So we just need a situation where we don't die because Squirtle is very light. And that situation did not happen. <laughs> a Squirtle got s right there. Mm -hmm. Um... 7000 was able to catch Mario going for that jump fair and kill, but then um, Steven just came back with instant aggression right there. Mm -hmm. And I think um, these side Bs uh, will just get completely shut down from that flood. And look at this, Squirrel stops right there. Oh, wow. How, do, how would you know that would happen? Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Yeah, that is an, I think... They must have like ran out of all the time right when it landed, and then somehow that hitbox hit. That is uh, a oh, bit, wow. bit of a bit of a fortunate incident for Steven right there. He's gonna count his lucky stars after getting that. Absolutely, but getting into this next game, this Ooh. is where we need to see a little bit more situations where Devin is a little bit more uh, cognizant of how they actually you know play around neutral. You know, in situations especially where you're like at earlier percent, you want to continue playing neutral, but now you can play neutral with uh, Ivysaur or maybe even Charizard, especially like when you're at, you know, those high, high percents. Mario may be like really good at like, you know, getting in or uh, getting, you know, staying in once he gets in. But like if you're just not letting them in at all, it's kind of just one of those situations where it's just like, what can I do? Oh, and right here, the FD transformation, I think that's going to actually be beneficial for Trainer, um, more so than Mario, because Mario loves platforms for extensions, but Squirtle can definitely um, be pretty solid without platforms. Trainer in general um, can be okay on FD. Mm -hmm. Now, side platforms in. Mm, but for sure, this is looking a little bit scary. Yeah, and um, Steven, his, his like game plan when you're on ledge is really just like, do a safe aerial, then like run back and try to read you going in, you know, with either an up smash or like a retreating F smash. And it's been working out. So if Devin 3000 can kind of catch on to how, what Steven does when he has like a good advantage state, he's going to be able to play around it much better. 
absolutely for sure, but this is just kind of where we need to see, you know, Devin take this stock here because we don't want a situation where, you know, we're just gonna have Squirtle die at insanely low percents. You know, it can definitely happen. We haven't really seen that from, you know, Steven, but they definitely got their combos on point because, like, look, Mario is one of those characters. Just a little bit saucy. Just maybe a little bit. Yeah, that being said, it's it's a little hard to, like, get crazy stuff on Squirtle. You gotta be really precise. i just gonna end it right there early because I do not think they could have gotten the um, true combo from landing on the platform. It was too low. Mm, absolutely. We haven't really seen too much ledge trapping from, you know, what's it called, um, Devin. And it's kind of just like one of those situations where they're kind of spending most of their time, like, ooh, in situations like that where they're either almost dead or, um, you know, just barely on the edge of actually dying. And it's just, like, very scary. Gonna get that dash attack throwing Devin right back off stage. It's just, yeah, it seems like Devin just cannot figure out how to kill. It's really the biggest thing right happening right here. And like, I feel like Steven's not even in too much danger right now because he just has such like a read on when Devin's going for the kill that he's gonna be able to hold on for a good time unless he does an unsafe up air like that. Speaking towards that, the fact that like you know killing can be such an issue. Killing is mostly an issue when you can't actually stay alive long enough to kill, is the thing, right? So, like, that's also speaking to the fact of, you know, a lot of the habits that Devin has, and it's just, like, whenever you're, like, kind of staying in and you're just dying a lot, or, like, really early to a lot of situations where you shouldn't be, that leaves a lot less time for you to actually find a kill, you know, on whoever you're, like, you know, playing. So, that's just, like, speaking towards, you know, just, you know, just playing in general. Something that I'm actually learning as well. <laughs> this advantage is just as important as, you know, neutral and, you know, advancing and whatnot. It's a trifecta. Yeah, this is just like... Um, it's They're kind of just chipping away at each other right now, and Steven's totally fine with it because not only is Squirtle a lighter character, you have a whole stock lead. So I think Devin, um... Honestly, I'd be down for like a Charizard switch at this point. You need, you need some cheese. You need some weight. I feel like the Squirtle is just not going to do it. And that's going to be a read on the roll-in. Mm -hmm. seen, seen that roll-in many times today. Absolutely. But yeah, Steven playing really clean. Um, I was playing him early in friendlies. He, he was getting a lot of sick stuff. So definitely mm -hmm. a player that I know can get some cool upsets. Like I know he's uh, he beat Dill, um, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Not super recently, but like a few Xenos ago. Mm -hmm. So um, definitely a player with potential. Period. Well, are we already getting into next game? I guess we're getting into next game. So, we need to tell you guys about Vivi and Solar Beam, and Solar Beam actually moving to New York. I don't know. This is, this is 